The main points about the conclusions are to try and deal with the basic system. Probably the key thing about the so-called online processing solution is it allows for Australia-wide choice. If you think about it, bookkeepers can now market their services to anyone in the country. A Tasmanian firm with very low costs can market its services for high-level bookkeeping to a Pilbara-based business in the northwest of Australia and can do it on, in real time very efficiently as if their business was there. It's about this tool being available to very small business as opposed to where it was five or ten years ago being something that was big end of town. The next part of it is just the concept of direct consulting. It allows bookkeepers in particular to provide direct services to, to clients. You can take on more responsibilities. For example, traditionally uh, accountants were doing GST reconciliations and, and more of the so-called complex functions. But a lot of these complex functions are not difficult and most bookkeeping firms can handle them. And what this sort of technology can do is allow bookkeeping firms to, to increase that level of processing and effectively then provide a set of accounts that accountants don't need to do that anymore. The process simply being a question of checklists and reviews, but if you look at the other templates on the expert software system site, I do deal with this issue of how I believe bookkeepers can expand their market share by doing work traditionally done by accountants, and this system will help greatly in that process. The next aspect to it is simply the concept of technology. Accountants and bookkeepers are meant to be technically orientated. The internet, the broadband network that Australia is currently putting in place is going to see a lot more of this. I don't think there's many people who would be sitting looking at a video like this thinking things are going to go backwards. It's all going to move forward. You're going to see a lot more of it. And in my opinion, accountants and bookkeepers for that matter, who aren't technically orientated and provide a lot of internet-based solutions and IT solutions at this level of accounting, probably are not going to be the ones that are going to shine in the future. You need to orientate towards firms that do that and you need to be a firm that does it. Finally, we're looking here at uh, low-cost internet solutions. The idea with low-cost internet solutions is a simple point. A lot of what you get on the internet is very inexpensive and provides often a really nice problem solved at a very low cost. The offshoring part of it, which isn't directly part of this presentation, and again, Expert Software Systems, one of its main goals is to design systems for offshoring, but it's just taking it to the next level. If your bookkeeper can be in Tasmania, then it follows that your bookkeeper can be in India. It's about quality control, and again, we'll have presentations and slides on the site in this area. It's all about prompting discussion, but the wage rates, for example, in India to obtain base load accounting services are far less than Australia and this may be attractive for a lot of bookkeeping firms who want to get certain levels of their base processing done for their clients offshore. There will be issues about how this is done but again it's delivering low cost solutions and this is the whole point. The idea behind this is to develop low cost solutions that give you a high quality product. It's all possible. I think the key is that this argument, oh no, it's not going to be any good because it's being done by a bookkeeper or it's not going to be any good because it's being done offshore. I just don't buy into that. I think the tools are available and you'll see some of these on the site that allow bookkeepers in particular to do very high end work. It's not beyond them at all. Um, work traditionally done by accountants and also allow people in India to do baseload work very accurately.